So now we're going to talk about some composite to truth tables. This is where we take a statement that has more than one operation inside it. So our first one, your prompt would be P and Q or not R. And I've gone ahead and taken that statement and I've broken it into some smaller pieces. And following kind of your typical math convention, I'm really just working left to right unless I have grouping operators like I have down here in the second problem. So I've taken my P and Q, and I'm going to do that operation first. And then I've got this not R, which those go together. And then finally, I'm going to use this OR operation to put these two pieces together. So I've set my table up as I normally do. My first column follows, or my excuse me, my rightmost column follows true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. My next column is true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. And my third column is four trues and then four falses. And I would continue on if I had a fourth one with eight trues and eight falses. I don't imagine us seeing any truth tables larger than that. And this allows me to get every possible option. So the first part of my problem, I have my P and Q. And I'm just going to look at P and Q right here. I'm going to say I've got true and true. So that statement is true, that line. Again, I've got true and true. So I have true. Here I have true and false. That particular line is false because I need both of them to be true for and to be true. True and false, again, is false. False and true. And actually, both of these are false and true. So I have false, false false and false for both of these is again false for both of them. Now my next part, that not R, because I've got operation, operation, I think of this as not R as kind of a piece. So I'm going to figure out what not R is. And really I'm just taking my R column and if I have true, I put down false. If I have false, put down true. So here it's going to end up following the pattern, false, true, false, true, false, true. Now I'm going to take these two pieces, P and Q, and the not R, and I'm going to put them together using my OR operation. So here I've got true or false. So that's true. True or true. That's true false or false. That one's false because neither of them are true. False or true. That's true. False or false. Well, both of them are false, so my whole statement's false. False or true. That's true because one of them is true. False or false. That's false. And false or true. That's true. Now, with the quizzes and with the exams. Because there's not really any hard and fast rule that says I have to do this column first and this column second, especially as they get more complicated, they actually hide these two columns. They just go away. So it's almost like that. They just disappear. And so this is the final result in it, as I see my P, my Q, and my R, my most basic variables, and then I see the final column. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to read each entire row and make sure it's exactly the same in the answer as on my uh, truth table. 